like blogging offer professors ways to reinforce skills that they're already working on developing with their students in the classroom? For example, writing and doing critical analysis are really important things that women's studies practitioners work on with their students. So creating a classical blog, a group blog, where students post their short essays that respond to texts that were assigned in class or provide popular cultural analysis is a great way to kind of make those assignments that can be a little boring for students at times, a little more hip, a little more with it, a little more fun, and to just have some experimenting in play. Students can bounce off each other's ideas once published as well. Sure, and it is a really cool space to take debate outside of the classroom. Class is over, but students are really excited and still want to keep going on an idea. It gives them a chance to really interact with each other in that way. At the same time, some students might not really be comfortable with the idea of putting their writing out there to the public or being published in that way. They might not be ready yet, they might not want to, whatever the reason. Scholars do have the opportunity um, and professors can just easily create a blog for your class group that's private that will only be visible to folks you invite to be a part of it, maintaining that safe classroom space. And you could also, if you want to do a public class blog, offer students the opportunity to post anonymously or to use pen names. What if you don't want to bother with creating your own group blog in your classroom? Are there other alternatives? You can just easily meet them where they already are. I would recommend starting a Facebook group page for your class. You'll have the option there to create spaces for discussion, to post announcements, um, to kind of build a classroom community. You could even have students post links or short assignments for peer editing. Really, the options are kind of limitless, all within you know one of those profile-based social networking sites that your students are checking more frequently than they check their email to get updates on their friends. But we also hear, you know, when you talk about MySpace or Facebook, we hear horror stories these days about students who post lurid details about you know the, the party they went to last night. And then that comes back to haunt them on their first job interview. How do we adopt these technologies without necessarily perpetuating that same kind of confessional exposure in the sanctioned classroom form? Incorporating these technologies into the women's studies classroom will allow professors to play a really important role in teaching their students to be informed consumers about the online technology that they use and will give them a chance to talk about how you're really crafting yourself as you create your online presence and what's a responsible way to do that. And really having a conversation as a class about how do I want to represent myself as a young adult could be really formative for students and a great way for women's studies scholars to really give students a professional and direct skill. You need to think about it a little bit, little bit. as with all things, you know, you wouldn't try a new text and just add it to your syllabus without doing a little research on it first. So be conformed teachers when you're using this as well. Definitely.